We're talking about an experience where you're talking about different ways to, uh, to uh, avoid mosquito bites, or at least not get so many. And I happen to mention one technique, which was becoming a eucalyptus tree, because mosquitoes don't really like, like eucalyptus. And when I did this walking through the forest, uh, I had to adjust my imagination so I was a walking eucalyptus tree. But uh, with that focus, I was not bothered by mosquitoes. But that's only one way to do it. Another time, my wife and I were uh, in Korea, and we were attending this shamanic gathering up in the mountains, and it was full of these biting flies. And what we finally were able to do, and it took a great deal of focus, what we were finally able to do was put ourselves in, in a very, very relaxed state, in the present moment, in a very relaxed state, even though it was in the hot sun and there was all this ritual stuff going on, and all these flies were around, as we were able to achieve that relaxed, present, focused state, they left us alone. Bit everybody else, okay? Never touched us, as long as we held the focus. If we allowed that focus to drift, and we started to tense up for any reason, boom, they'd be back. So yes, we didn't have to imagine being anything, we had to be in a state in which, okay, they're there, so what? Not let it bother us. And then they didn't bother us. So that, that, that's easier to do with mosquitoes. It really is. But because mosquitoes will go after the most stressed people. Okay? Yeah. And other animals too, right? Typically, typically, yes, that's right. Because when we are stressed, that's a tension state, it changes, it alters our chemistry. One of the things it does, let's say in the, in the, in the case of mosquitoes, it increases the amount of sugar that we have running in our blood, which is what they're after. Okay? Because we get the adrenaline, the adrenaline release, releases the glucose, and that runs through our blood, and that's what the mosquitoes go after. So the, they'll go after the people with the most stress in a group that you're in. Okay? Now the other thing is that the, the uh, other kinds of chemical changes can change our ferrons, which are these emanations, they're not exactly odors, but these are these emanations that we give out that influence other people's behavior toward us. And if we're giving out fear ohms that are producing a, a, uh, a response to fear, why then our stress is having that effect. So stress will alter our, chemi our chemistry, which will alter our, the kind of influence we're having on our environment. Well, now you, you said that you have to really keep your focus on being relaxed. In that case, oh, how could you do that? All you have to do is have an awareness of your body state while you are doing other things. Okay. I mean, there is that, that sure, sure, that's right. Yeah, it's a dual awareness or a multiple awareness, depending on what you're doing. Yeah, but that's possible to do. One more. That's another way. That's like the people who are able to put nails through their arms right. and pull them out without bleeding. Sure. The nails or the other? <laughs> 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 The, now, that's one stage, but typically, the more relaxed you are, the less they'll bother you. 